Hey, morning, everyone. Welcome to the briefing for Wednesday, the 6th of March. OK, synoptic today, fairly similar to yesterday. We're in a very slack area with no isobars painted over the top of us. Uh, what we have got is a very light, very light southeasterly flow by the looks of it. They've painted on here, if we just go back overnight, this warm front down um, just over the sea. Going ahead to midday today, it's moved very slightly um, just on the coast down over Cornwall. Um, but it, it, they did paint this as a weakening feature last night. They have got it as a proper feature here, but going to midnight tonight, it's disappeared. So I don't actually think we're going to see the effects of that. I think that's a very weak feature. They've also painted on here this occlusion up to our northeast, but neither of those are going to cause us any issues. The only issue we have got at the moment is the fog. Um, and with the wind being very light, whatever we start off with is pretty much what we're going to have all day. Uh, but once this burns off, uh, I, I think the weather should be pretty much all right. Tomorrow, uh, wind's increasing a little bit, but otherwise high pressure up here, keeping the weather fairly reasonable by the looks of it. And the uh, same thing on Friday, wind increasing. Um, but all these low pressure systems managing to stay away from us. OK, so the forecast wind today, it's showing about 150, 160 at about 10 knots. So very light from the southeast. On the sat pick, it looks like you can see that warm front out to the west. There's not a lot really going on there. A little bit of cloud by the looks of it. It doesn't look like there's any real showers or a lot of thick cloud. You see there's areas of cloud over the country more to the east, um, so hopefully it's clearing from the west, uh, but it doesn't look like there's much shower activity or anything to be too concerned about. Rainfall radar picking up a few bits in places. In fact, that's disappeared now. It was picking up some earlier. Rainfall forecast, not showing anything this morning. It is showing some developing showers going into the afternoon, mostly to our east. It looks like from about 12, maybe 1 p.m. onwards, uh, the chance of a shower, but quite a low chance by the looks of it. And it'll be quite localised and quite small, so it won't cause us too much of an issue. Public forecast said not actually picking up any of those showers. They're showing a 10% chance from 1 p.m. onwards. Otherwise, foggy this morning with humidity very high, but an hour or two, and then it dries out quite a lot, and it's showing sunny intervals for the rest of the day. Top temperature of eight or nine degrees uh, with a very light wind. Hopefully it should feel reasonably mild out there if the sun's out. Okay, by midday, uh, GFS is showing we might even have 10 degrees if we're lucky, nine or 10 degrees with dew points about three to four. So actually quite a nice split later on. It may even be a little bit of soaring if we're lucky. Uh, that was the view outside 15 minutes ago. That's the outside now, so it is clearing actually reasonably quickly. You see that wind's up pointing at the ground. Currently just under two degrees, dew points sat right at zero. Okay, ODM's forecast, currently visibility 50 meters and fog, that's unsurprising. This morning, they're saying it's gonna break up to few clouds at 700 feet. That's actually not a problem, few clouds, we can just fly between those. Uh, they've put a prop 40 here for some scattered clouds from 11A onwards, and that's at 1,000 feet above Lasham. And then going into the afternoon, scattered clouds a little bit higher, and they've actually put here some light rain showers. Farnborough is similar. They've also put here some rain showers in the afternoon. Otherwise, they're saying low cloud and mist until 10am, and then 1,000 feet from 10am onwards. So I think it should clear pretty quickly. Mm. Top Meteo uh, was looking a little bit less optimistic. This is 10 a.m. It's picking up quite a lot of low cloud and fog. 11 a.m. lifting, but potentially still below 1,000 feet. But by midday, it's looking very clear. And there's no cloud below 1,000 feet. They are just picking up some showers just around us, sort of to the south and the east, going through the afternoon. But they look very small and very localised. And otherwise, nothing to be worrying about. There's no no tams today. Okay, operationally, uh, we'll be setting up on 09 with a very slight easterly flow. The grass is probably still very wet out there. There was a lot of standing water yesterday. So we'll start off with a wet weather setup. That will be launch point pretty much at the 16 intersection here. Cables running down the south side. 
their aero towing will be from the north side of the runway as normal. So south side circuits will be landing on the runway. A very good circuit. North side circuits will strictly be landing on the north side grass. I'd encourage people to be landing on the runway and generally keeping the gliders on the tarmac. Certainly, I think for the morning, as much as we can. We did have a few gliders yesterday. We were using a similar setup, uh, but they landed on the grass because they misjudged it and they got very, very dirty. So if we could try to stick to the runway, uh, be conscious you haven't got a lot of wind. So plan your base leg and your approaches accordingly. They will be relatively shallow compared to normal. If you're not at all convinced that you're going to stop well before the launch point, just bail out and land on the grass, please. Okay, glider serviceability is coming along nicely. We've got three K21s now, 774, 5 and 8. We've got three K13s. I just need to take hotel. We'll just come out of an annual. I just need to take that for a test flight as soon as cloud base goes up. Otherwise, we've then got three of those. We've got one baby grob, SH6, and all three discuses. Hopefully, you've all looked at the ground handling guidance that we sent out last week. If we could be following that, that's great. And just a reminder, please don't sit on the wing roots of the K21s and make sure you're lifting the tail wheels when turning, especially the tail heavy gliders. I've had a partial flight plan come through uh, for something departing at midday on some day. I'm assuming it's today. Uh, this was one that was supposed to go yesterday. So I think there's probably going to be a 737 departure at 12, but that's not very confirmed. Um, and that's it. Um, I don't think it's going to take too long to clear. So if we go and get the gliders out, take them out to the launch point and then get flying as soon as we can, I think it should be quite a nice day. Bye for now.